One of the things that I am always fixing with my students is proper hand position. Good proper hand position on the clarinet, I like to say, is like holding a really nice sh champagne glass. Nice, relaxed C on both sides. Once you have good proper hand position, having a lack of tension is the next step. Not only is it essential that you have proper hand position, but it's essential that you actually understand what your fingers are doing. The keys on the clarinet are very similar to a weight machine. When you push down, there's also letting go. If you go to the gym and you press on a weight machine and you let the weight go, it'll just slam up. A lot of students, when they come to me, they don't really understand that you can control the speed of the key. This exercise is what I like to call lazy fingers. When I do long tones with my students or Opperman finger exercises, my favorite is Modern Daily Studies book two, I make my kids do lazy fingers. The goal of that is for them to start to understand that they control the up and the down. This is essential for any beautiful legato playing because any finger popping or key noise can mar any beautiful legato phrase. It's important to remember that lazy fingers are only for scales and long tones. I like to think of it as a ground up process. You do it for your fundamentals and then slowly it seeps into your musical playing in orchestra, solos, recitals. And that's it. Have fun with your lazy fingers and your champagne glasses. <laughs>